Hey guys, Kevin Ward here. I'm standing here with Lee Asher, and Lee is a top peak performance strategist for Tony Robbins' organization. And uh, I've had the amazing opportunity to listen to him speak, uh, come speak to our company, and I've heard him speak a couple of times. And just an amazing, absolutely amazing, off the chart presenter at helping people make distinctions that will help them go to another level in terms of personal performance. So I just want to acknowledge you on that. It's very exciting. Thanks, now, man. one of the things that I was very impressed to hear, I'm not that surprised, mm -hmm. was at your age, and you're younger than, he's younger than he looks, by the way, I won't tell you how young he is, but he's younger than he looks, is that you basically shattered all the records for being a top, one of the top sales reps for Tony Robbins' organization ever. Correct. So, how did you do it? I mean, what are, you, what are the keys that for you have helped you to achieve such high levels so quickly? Oh, man. Well, I would definitely say I learned that... Um, you really have to do all the things that you need to do, not what you want to do, and eventually develop the mindset to learn what you love, to learn to love what you need to do. So all these things people always talk about, and they talk about it in a negative way, like, well, prospecting, getting, re right. getting referrals, door knocking, taking right. action. They make it sound like it's like the worst thing ever. I love that <laughs> stuff. Okay. I love it. Like, I think all that is so much fun. Because you're in the same business. You're selling. Sales are sales. Yeah. I mean, pe people... Always remember, my mentor Al Melnick told me that a lot of people who make everything very complicated usually live very complicated lives. Okay. Sales are sales. So you get rejected. All the I time. I mean, you have people that that say no and they don't buy a ticket or but whatever. I don't look at it as a rejection. Okay. So how do you how do you change that perspective? What do you do to make it not see that way? Not see it that way. Wh whatever you focus on, energy will go. Right. Where focus goes, energy flows. Right. So if you focus on the fact you're getting rejected, what's going to happen all the time? You're going to get rejected. You're going to get rejected. Yeah. <laughs> you never know what's happening where someone else is in their life or where they are, what they're thinking, what they think about you, what they think about your product. Right, right. So you also have to take responsibility for your actions. But what's to say you got rejected? Maybe say, okay, I'll learn a new technique. Don't do that. <laughs> right, right. So you learn from it. You learn from it. Okay. Yeah. And the other Which thing is a win. I, it's, it's a win. Yeah. And the other thing I would say is a lot of people think Tony Robbins, me, anyone in this type of business... It's all about positive thinking. Okay. And that's one thing that drives me crazy. You know, I, even my own friends, they call me the positive thinker. I don't think positive thinking has much to do with it. All right. I'd rather have someone on my team who's extremely negative, who takes massive, massive action, than someone who just sits on the couch and is very positive. <laughs> you know, what's a right. person who's very positive? You have a very positive person who takes zero action, what do you have? Uh... A hippie. You have a hippie. You know, That's right. I heard you say that. <laughs> so, right. you know, you have a hippie. So, I'm about doing whatever it takes to get the result you want. So, one thing right. I always do is when I'm taking action is I focus on not how to do it. People are so in their head, they focus how, how, how. I always focus right. on my why. Why am I doing what I'm doing? Right. If you have a big enough why in your heart, if you have a big enough why in your life, the how is going to show up. So, why are you doing what you're doing? Is it for your family? Mm -hmm. Is it because you want to help people? Right. Is it because you want to take your life to the next level and show others what they could do with their life? Why is it? Once you lose your why, you lose your drive. I really Got believe it. that. That makes sense. Once you lose your why, you lose your drive. Yeah. So, anything that ever comes in my life that most people would say, how could you, how could you do that after that? You know, a car accident or, God forbid, a death in the family or hurricane or storm. I use everything actually motivate me to take more action right you have an option pain gives you options you can either lie down and pretend you're dead or you can use it to take your business or your life to the next level in any area of your life it doesn't right, matter right. even relationships so that's the key factor wow yeah. that is awesome. I know that's a lot but I would just say I said, well, I, you know what I appreciate it and I've, I just, I've, seen, I've seen what I see in you is an achiever I mean you're somebody who you take action and you get results Correct. and so I, you know for me I've enjoyed learning from you and, and uh, likewise but you found well, me so much you don't even realize it's so absolutely been that. awesome well guys Lee Asher oh, uh, thanks, the guys. guys he's a difference maker and he's got the fruit on his tree so it's been a delight to get to hear you and a lot to be your friend it's really been my pleasure Kevin.